fellow online course transitionees, we get the opportunity in this unusual time to have our classes be online. And as we're transitioning, this is a big change for you as students, for me as a, a professor. And so as we move forward, I wanted to give us some suggestions, some ideas, some helpful hints, some uh, tips, some things to make this a good experience uh, and the best experience that we can make it as we move classes online, as you're gonna see me a lot more on a screen instead of in person. Uh, and I'll see you a lot more on a screen instead of in person. And so as we do that, I just wanted to give us some recommendations, some tips, some ideas that will make this a uh, smoother and easier and helpful transition uh, onto an online classroom environment. So as we move online, I just wanted to give us some foundational tips and recommendations uh, that are gonna make this as smooth as possible. I would say number one, invest in all the resources that are, are given to you. I would say number two, uh, invest in the time that we have in class. Uh, the time that we have during the class time, not necessarily in class. And take that time to uh, participate, ask questions, uh, follow along, print out the handouts that you're gonna have. So that way you can keep up with the content that we would have. Uh, don't let it be something that slips to the side because it's gonna be more challenging to get caught up if that's the case. I would say number three, uh, invest in or utilize a good uh, set of headphones. Uh, as we're gonna be doing a lot of communication online, whether they be conversations or listening to videos, this is gonna be really helpful as you uh, get a chance to listen to and participate into the classroom discussions or online uh, office hours. <clears throat> in addition to that, as you prepare to join an online session, whether that they be through Zoom or through Canvas conferences, uh, I would say join it a few minutes before the class starts. So if, you're, if the live session happens uh, at 10 a.m., I recommend getting on five minutes before that at 9.55. So that way when class does begin or the session does begin, then you get an opportunity to be ready, uh, account for any technical difficulties that arise, whether that's with internet or with um, simply a software that's not functioning correctly. That way you're ready and those technical aspects are not something that get in the way as you're preparing for uh, the classroom learning environment. For the analytical class, the rest of the semester, what we are going to do uh, is continue to meet at our normal times of 10 a.m. Uh, and during that 10 to 10.50 block, we will continue to talk through a lot of the content that we would have. Uh, we'll continue to have some pre-class assignments that prepare us for the material that we're gonna discuss as a group. Um, since we are a smaller class, we're going to have the opportunity to have group discussions and share and participate and contribute a little bit more than if we were in a larger class uh, group uh, when we are going to be doing these discussions online. So that will be our normal time slot. In addition to that, as we discussed in lab, uh, for our lab time from 1 to 4.50 on Wednesdays, we'll continue to have an open time where you are going to take some of the material and ideas that we've been learning in the lecture class and apply them whether they th be through a more challenging application that takes an extended period of time, uh, whether that would be um, taking a simulation of one of the instruments that we've been using, for example, in HPLC, and applying it to um, some specific data that we've been given or had been collected. And this will continue to give us the ability to become more familiar with these instruments. Uh, we'll continue to be able to get us more familiar with the applications of those instruments. Um, <clears throat> but then hopefully that will continue to build up our base of understanding of instrumental analysis. Um, I hope as we transition online that this is going to be something that opens up some new opportunities. Maybe we can use more multimedia, uh, some more videos that I may be able to share and utilize together uh, in outside of the classroom. But I, I would like an, um, your feedback so that way we can optimize our online experience together. Uh, whether specific videos are helpful or whether specific uh, application questions are helpful. I still want us to have an opportunity to learn and process this material together, uh, not just individually and separate from each other. And so with that, I'm looking forward to seeing you all online and uh, or at least your, your faces on a video screen.